So I think this is going to be like my, um, was it last month or a couple of months ago? I made, I said I was going to make like a video about sex as a tranny or, you know, my sex life or whatever. And this will pretty much be that video because I'm going to talk about boys and, and how dating works for me at least as a transsexual. <clears throat> So, to start out with, I should say that dating has never been easy for me. Um, I started in, you know, when I was about 15, I kind of accepted that I liked men. I don't remember if I was necessarily out. I think I was to my friends, but um, it certainly wasn't something I was comfortable being, like, out in school. So, I, <clears throat> that's when I started doing the online dating thing. And I feel like it's pretty normal for trans girls. I mean, like, honestly, I don't know a lot of trans girls. I, in fact, I don't think I know any trans girls, like, personally, like, offline. Um, but from what I, from who I've talked to on the internet, it seems pretty much the norm that most trans girls go to the internet to, f excuse me, <laughs> to find romance and love and all that kind of thing. So, um, I didn't present myself as, actually I first presented myself as like a cross-dresser, um, when I was like 17 or 18. Online dating is awful. It really, I mean like, okay, it's, I've never used like eHarmony or Match.com, obviously, but, <laughs> but it's just. It's, it can be really awful. It really can. I'm on a few different dating sites. Um, it's just... It's so impersonal, and yet... You're exposing your yourself to, like, the world on it. It's really... It can be awful. I don't suggest it to everyone. Um, Match.com and that kind of thing, and even OkCupid... Okay um, those are generally all right. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, you can do it. If you, if you want to try the online dating thing, it's not going to be, like, terrible. It's just, there are some things you have to be desensitized to. And sometimes it's like, you kind of wish that you weren't desensitized to those things. Like, you know, what pe on the internet, people just They'll say, and you know, whatever's on their mind. They're not afraid to express themselves. So, if they want to say a mean comment, they'll say a mean comment. Or if they want to, you know, <clears throat> sexually harass you, then, then it's their prerogative to do that. So, anybody interested in doing the online dating thing, just be ready for the possibility that that could happen. I'm making it sound like I'm, like, beaten battered over it, but it's, like, I'm just tired of it. I'm just tired of the online scene, and I just don't feel comfortable enough to just... Also, I'm not old enough. Once I'm 21, which will be March 23rd, I'm really excited, um, once that happens, I will, um, probably hit up bars and stuff with friends, of course. Um, it's just nerve-wracking. It just really is, like... As a trans girl, you need to be, I mean, not all of them are, but it's just really important to be up front, <laughs> um, because you have to tell them eventually, and if you hold a big secret like that, you're risking a few things. First of all, they may not be cool with it, like, at all, like, at all, and you don't want to put yourself in a situation where <clears throat> they could hurt you, you know? both emotionally and physically, which is what I was actually getting at. The, you don't want to get beat up. Um, that's never happened to me. Um, but that's because I'm usually, I mean, like, I'm up front. Um, also, I'm not the kind of girl who, who's looking for, <clears throat> like, a hookup. I don't really do hookups. It's hard for me to be, like, intimate uh, with someone unless I know them on a deeper, more personal kind of level. I know, I'm such a prude, but whatever. Um, uh, 
I guess, I mean, like, I'm just going on and on about stuff, so I might as well just go to my next little bit in hopes that it will, I'll get everything I wanted to say just out. I'm sorry about my voice, by the way, that I keep clearing my throat. It's just, it feels very dry. Maybe I should get water. Or maybe I'll just keep talking. Um, as a trans girl, and this seems to be the consensus as well. Now, not all trans girls are like this, so bear with me here. But most of us are kind of uncomfortable with the idea of someone else not just acknowledging, but, like, wanting to use our member, like, our penis. Like, like, for me, I don't really mind if someone wants to play with it or whatever, but, um, like, I don't top, I'm not, I don't penetrate or anything like that, you know? Um, do you get what I'm getting at here? So, but a lot of guys, a lot of tranny chasers, that's what they want, is basically a chick who's going to top them, who's going to do them in the butt. And that's the other thing too, tranny chasers, man, I'm just all over the place with this. <clears throat> I'm going to just talk about me. So, I'm uncomfortable just sleeping around, I don't do that, and I'm also not looking to get with someone who's trying to find their fetish porn star. You know, like, <clears throat> tranny chasers are basically guys who have a sort of kink for trans girls. And they kind of view us as walking, talking fetishes. Um, which at first I thought was funny and cute and whatever, but after a good minute of dealing with a lot of tranny chasers, it can be super frustrating. Just because all they want to talk about is your penis. All they care about is how and when you're going to fuck them in the butt. It's just, it's awful. Um, uh, <clears throat> on another kind of related note, I'm sorry I'm so over the place. This is not planned at all, but like... Like, dating just isn't normal. It just isn't. I don't, I'm sure there are trans girls out there who have a normal dating life, but if you do find, if like for me, if I finally get like a date, it's just, sometimes they work out okay. Like it's a normal date, it's fine. And just, it didn't happen to work out. But a lot of the times it's like, the guy gets scared because, you know, m most guys don't want to be labeled as, like, gay. Like, in my last video, th <clears throat> that friend of mine who I really like, who I'd really like to be with, um, you know, obviously, he's not gay. He, you know, he's attracted to me as a woman. And it's just, I am, I don't even, I have no point. My point is, it's difficult living as a sort of third gender in a two gender world, especially when you don't even fit into the norms of sexuality. Like, I would say that it is normal if you're if you're gay. Now, whether people accept that or not is one thing, but it's it's now like normal. Like people have heard about it. Like, you're either straight or you're gay, or sometimes you're bisexual. But when you're transgender, it's like your partner will be labeled gay, usually. And that makes it harder to date <clears throat> straight men. Because generally gay men don't want to get with trans girls. You know, a lot of people are like, well, why don't you just date a gay dude? And I'm like, because I look like a woman and gay dudes don't want to date women. I'm sorry. Just because I have a male part doesn't mean they want to get with me. <laughs> um... There's also a, I don't know, like, this sounds stupid, but I just find myself attracted to straight men more because there's there's just a different vibe, a different chemistry with men who are attracted to women. And yes, I consider myself a woman. 
Um, it can be, I don't know, it's just, it's tough. Like, I just really would like, you know, ideally I want to meet someone to date them on a long-term scale. And ideally at some point uh, in a long-term relationship, it results in marriage. Like, yeah, I'm very traditional. Like, that's the kind of thing I'm hoping for. <clears throat> or something to the equivalent, you know? Obviously, I don't have to be super traditional. Like, I, my identity is not very traditional. So, I mean, I'm open to different things, but I'm very monogamous. And, I don't know, it can, it can just be really tough. It's one of the hardest parts about being trans. Like, <clears throat> in all of my videos, I'm pretty much just like, oh, la-di-da, it's great being a woman. I really feel like I should drink something. I hope I don't sound terrible. You know, la-di-da, it's great being trans. This is an adventure, dur -dur -dur, learning so much about myself. And it's all true, but there are some really tough parts. And I don't even have it, like, half as hard as Oh, most trans girls like really like I I don't want anybody to think that I don't know that I'm super blessed and very lucky and all of that like really I have it very good but hard parts for me one of the hardest ones is dating and romance as it is for probably every trans girl but just it can it's really you know, it's just, you know, <clears throat> I have a lot of friends, it's just I get lonely, you know, um, you know, people say that you can't validate yourself with a relationship or with another person, and like, I know that, really, I'm not looking to validate myself, but I've never had a boyfriend, I've never been in a relationship, I've never been able to hold on to that affection that <clears throat> I really want with a man, you know? Whenever I see my friends and their boyfriends, and then I'm just like, oh, I wish I could have that, and they're like, you don't need it, you know, nobody needs this, this is just, this is probably just temporary, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, but still, even if it's temporary, even if it doesn't last forever, <clears throat> You are getting an emotional connection, intimacy, affection, these things that every human needs, even if it's just for a short time, until you find your next boyfriend. For me, it's like, I don't have that, and I have never had that. <laughs> I've had glimpses of it here and there that shows me that it exists to some degree, but now this is this video is too long and I can't speak anymore and it's just getting depressing but that's my video on romance and dating and a little sex I'm sorry but it's another video for you guys to watch okay thanks for watching bye <laughs>